So the other day I was browsing YouTube and I came across this video of this girl who did something like starring in my own coming of age film. So this is gonna be me starring in my own coming of age video, movie. Me starring in my own coming of age movie, YouTube video. Now, what is my relationship with coming of age movies? I have a strong one. I love them. I love every single one, of course. I, like, just look at me, I'm a Ladybird fan. Like, you look at me, I'm a, I'm a young white woman, I'm a Ladybird fan. The look and the outfits of a certain character in a movie it's very telling of what this character, who this character is, what they're doing, what their story is. You can look at them and see at least what's going on on the surface and I think that's really cool. I was a costume designer in my college theater group so I think that costume design is very important and I love it. So today we're gonna costume design my movie. So I want the look to be very true to myself because of course this is my movie. I don't want to be like outwardly quirky or I don't want to like try and do like a cool trendy outfit that I would never wear. So I picked outfits that I actually love and I actually wear starting with this first one that I'm wearing right now. So we have this blue tie-dyed shirt. I love tie-dye. We have green cargo pants. I love this combo together. It's very like the sky and the grass, the earth, you know? And I'm wearing these Converse, which are my favorite shoes that I always wear unless I'm wearing my Tevas. I just did my hair. I've been doing my hair lately like this. I think it's uh, really cute. Oh, and I put some earrings on. I actually, fun fact, don't have my ears pierced, so these are clip-ons, and they are a little bigger. I couldn't find the smaller hoops that I had, but you know what they say about hoops? The bigger the hoop, the bigger the heart. heel stretch or am I crazy? I'm just not sure. For my other quirky outfit I have this dress that I thrifted. It's this really cool pattern. Kind of one of my favorites. And then I also have overall shorts that I thrifted and this white shirt that I thrifted. By the way, this shirt I thrifted and these pants I thrifted. I didn't even realize that when I left so Thrifting is cool. Sound design and music just make a movie what it is. And that is sometimes my favorite part of a movie. If I love a movie so much, I will listen to its soundtrack over and over and over. Some of my favorite movie soundtracks include Baby Driver, obviously, Amelie, Lady Bird, Whip It. Good thing I have a Spotify playlist saved of songs that would be in my movie or my TV show. So I have that covered. I'm just gonna go through that later. So when we're doing scenes from my movie, I'll have some good soundtracks. I really recommend that by the way. I would start a Spotify playlist of songs that make you feel like you're in a movie because then when you listen to it and you just like walk in the street and you put your headphones in, you're like, I am the star. I am the star of my movie, it is me. It's all about me. Oh, I, Tanya has a good soundtrack. Shake them lazy bones, read the t-shirt but still don't understand. Coming home with a little apocalypse, it comes now. Do you have time for this? A three-tone carpet and a Jackie Chan spear. Looking at a Hindu and a belly full of beer. Well, I ain't no poet, ain't got no rhyme. But I got me a car and I know how to drive. In the event of pressure loss, Looking at the body, well, I don't even 
friend of mine Well, the wind's so strong It's blowing us all around Wind's so strong Nobody settle down Every day another apocalypse Had a TV, but I don't know how deep it is Please read the print Sensational, little sister gotta take her medicine Baby brother gonna do it all again Run fast but cannot catch the bus Funny feeling, this is part of us And you 